All right, guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. So today, I wanted to bring you something that we have been eating super regularly. You may remember the pitas from our pita pizzas. These are 60 calories a piece, and we absolutely adore them. You get six in a pack in this one. The other kind they have, they have five in a pack. But it has to be the Joseph's, or you'll end up with crazy calories. Now, today, we're making the tuna salad pita. Now, two variants here. We each have our own style of making them. We both eat each other's style of making them. It just depends on who's actually making them that day. But both of these come in under 250 calories for one pita. Now, the pita gets cut in half and filled, so you actually end up with two things to eat. So we're just going to walk you through exactly how we do it. This is super simple. Don't get caught up in details. Make it how you like. That's basically what we're doing. So to start it off with, you got to take your pita and you can use a knife, but I have found over time that a pizza cutter works very well. Now for those of you who are not fully understanding, it's just a standard pita. All right. We put it down and you just go across it with your pizza cutter and then you gently open it up. Now sometimes they do break a little bit. It's not a big deal, but that's what you end up with. And basically you can fill that. So we'll take that and then we'll take this and now we've got our pitas. Now the next part, we're going to take our bowls and we're going to put one can of tuna. So up till now everything's the same. But these will bring out two very different flavors in the end. Now the next step, which is also the same, is we add dill relish or whatever relish you like. Obviously you want it drained. So what I do is I'll usually do about three tablespoons drained. So there's one, two, three. Not sharing your tablespoon? No, my tablespoon. I don't <laughs> want it touching your white creamy stuff. Now, everybody's different in how you like your tuna salad. There's people that would tell us we're both crazy. I know people that do their tuna salad with ranch dressing. So mm. everybody has their own style. But I'm going to show you mine and then I'll let my beautiful wife show you what she's going to do. Basically, I got your standard honey mustard. This is 10 calories per teaspoon, but it basically comes out the exact same with three tablespoons, I mean two tablespoons as it does my wife's way. So we put our two in there, just like that, and then we mix. And I'll let my beautiful wife explain hers while I'm mixing. So I use the Kraft Light Mayo. This is 35 calories per tablespoon. And I am going to use two tablespoons of my mayo. So mine's a more traditional yep. tuna salad. What are you doing over there? Making a mess. You're having problems. Oh. Got it all over you. These bottles, no these new line bottles don't work out well. We're getting white stuff all over you. <laughs> what a mess. This is I awful. was making a mess, I felt. Yeah, I guess I'm just as bad, if not worse. <laughs> it figure we'd be on film when the bottle runs out. Ain't that how it always works? All right, all right there you that's go. good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to continue to mix mine up here, but she's getting hers going there. But it's definitely a different flavor each way, but neither one of them is bad. Uh-uh. I like both of them. Now this is the next part I'm going to show you guys is what really makes it so these fill you up. Because granted, that's a can of tuna and some other stuff, and that's a pita. You're going to be a little full, but the next part is what really does it. So what you do is you get you some fresh spinach. It's very cheap. And you want to open your pita up. All right, just like that. Grab a big old handful and literally just stuff it. Just stuff it. See that? You want it so it's holding it open. That's how much you want in there. 
And you're going to take half of your mixture and put it right inside on top and just kind of spread it. These make awesome lunches. These are amazing for a quick, easy lunch. Kids absolutely love them. Or if you forgot to take out anything for dinner, mm -hmm. these are easy go-tos. Easy, quick, fast, and it, it makes it look like you didn't forget anything. Because <laughs> it's kind of... nights that I come home and he's like, oh, we're having pitas for dinner, honey. Yes. <laughs> I have a whole different, like, line of options for those days. <laughs> All right, so it's very important that you literally fill these things with uh, spinach. It really is because that's what's going to keep you feeling full. And when you think about this, the spinach is so good for you. If you were to take and add a couple like pickle spears to the side of this, or maybe a small handful of chips, you're talking about literally less calories than a whole entire Big Mac. But look at how much food this is. This isn't a little bit of food, guys. Or you can add just um, some chopped onions in it. Mm -hmm. So that's what mine looks like. Mine's the mustard base. All right. That's what mine looks like with the mayo. Yep. So basically, I put these up here like that. And what we've got here is a beautiful kind of, what are those things called where you, on the, the block? Anyways, it's not even something where you need a plate, honestly. You just make it like this, throw it out there and eat it. Now. And then we just sit here at the table. That's for you. Thank I'll you. I'll eat this. Mm. That's good, honey. You did a good job. These are so good. I'm glad you came up with them. Well, let's see. A Whopper with cheese, I believe, is 550 or 600 calories. So if you sat down and ate everything on here, it's less calories than eating a Whopper. That's crazy. That's the kind of power of eating at home that can do, though, because these cost like nothing to make. And as you can see, it takes no time to make them. Nope. I mean, seriously, two or three minutes and you have your lunch made. You can make an excellent dinner if you get like a steamable vegetable and throw those in while you're making these. There you got your side dish and you got your main course and it's delicious. Or some carrots and celery on the side, especially in the summertime. With some fat-free ranch to dip them in. Mm-hmm. So guys, don't be afraid to get creative, but yet keep it easy. The relish is what makes this. And even if you come inside, because I'm not a fan of mayo in any way, shape, or form. But if you come inside and it's been like a hot day, these are delicious. They're cold, refreshing, great oh, to yeah. sit down and really enjoy. Now, with that said, we got a lot to eat here. Mm. And I'm cool with that because I was hungry. But if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have. I mean, look at this. Come on, guys. Go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure you like the video, comment down below, and let us know what you would put on your pita or what you like on your pitas. Because everybody's different, that's what I've learned. There's actually people I know that actually use like cream cheese on these things. Oh. I hmm. never thought of that. So, with that said, honey. We will see you in the next one. Now, this is on mine, go away. What? Come on. It's my dinner. I don't I, I, share. It was hard on me cooking this for you. Really? Really? <laughs>